Good morning. I hope you're doing great, doing awesome today. A lot of my friends actually ask this question. What is the most difficult thing about English? I would say the most difficult thing about English is finding good opportunity and good sources for you to train on and to practice. Language is about finding any sort of venues or opportunities to practice it mm -hmm. in your daily activities and, and make it a part of your life. Language cannot exist without people to use it. And language cannot exist without being used and incorporated in daily communication. So what are some of the common opportunities to find good venues to practice English? Actually, one of them is you being a good listener to this list of podcasts that I do regularly on my channel, on my YouTube. It helps you train your ears to listen normally to English and keep your ears stimulated to this kind of language music and make it part of your life. Try to incorporate not all the package of language in one go, but to use certain amount of expressions regularly on daily basis to help you incorporate, synthesize, and use this language. I keep saying, if you don't use it, you lose it. I understand that some of the podcasts that I do doesn't have a subtitle in Arabic because I'm not a believer that subtitles help people understand and better, and, and better their English um, learning. However, find good opportunities. This is an imperative verb that might not give you enough context on the kind of opportunities to find. I would say search online. I think Google is one of the biggest assets where we can find sources and sticking to them. Install applications on your PC or on your Mac and try to have a daily activity of listening to uh, a book, an audio, audio book, have the book with you, try to read from the book while you're listening to that is going to maximize the amount of language input to your ears, to your mind, of course. Additionally, you can do a little chat with one of your friends, one of your teachers, one of your colleagues, or, you know, in the cohort of the program that you're training yourself in. Involve yourself definitely in a training course like the American University course in Baghdad is really good and juicy with so many topics and it's going to be a catalyst to keep your language in satisfactory level. That is additionally going to help you be in touch with native speakers and with other interested people in language.